r slash ask reddit, what's a subtle sign someone's actually really wealthy? One thing I've always heard, and noticed, is that only low-end luxury plasters brand names everywhere. High-end luxury speaks for itself. You might find a small label slash tag somewhere with the name but that's about it. Stealth Wealth We've all heard of Yes Men. They help corporations run. Wealthy people can afford to say no. If your emergency fund is large enough, you too can have fuck you money. They don't flaunt it. I can understand why. Getting robbed isn't fun. I wouldn't say I'm wealthy but I'm far better off than most of the people I hang out with, and personally I hide what I have because I don't want my friends feeling insecure over perceived class differences or BS like that. I imagine for most very wealthy people it's similar. Frequently traveling. Had a friend of a friend casually ask if I'd be interested in coming along on a month-long truffle hunting trip in France. Oh hey, you like to cook. Maybe you'd like to. Financially comfortable, except with a hobby that functions as the day job. Or they seem to treat their day job more like a hobby. What you're actually seeing is that the bulk of the income is passive. I unknowingly had dinner with a billionaire couple. Afterward I was told about their wealth and I realized. Asterisk their clothes were bespoke. Everything fit like a glove. Asterisk their nails were perfectly manicured. Asterisk the wife was not wearing normal jewelry. Asterisk they insisted on picking up the bill. Asterisk they tipped $100 on a $180 receipt. They were both legitimately nice people and I genuinely enjoyed talking slash dining with them. I got this guy extra sauces at my job and he slipped me a $20. How did you end up having dinner with billionaires that you didn't know were billionaires? Honest question. I'm curious about how this situation comes to being. They use summer as a verb. Where in the world would you like to summer this year, my dear? One summer I was deployed to a base just outside of a wealthy Norwegian city. I met some people from Canada who summered there in their cottage, which was really a decently large house. It was crazy. They have a family lawyer. More, they have a family office. Nice teeth. Tasteful jewelry, if any. Casual well-fitting clothes at all times, rich people don't give a fuck about the dress code. New cars that are always clean. Showing up to fancy restaurants in casual clothes was what I was going to say. I stress about finding something to wear and they just show up in their normal street clothes and no one even bats an eye. Clothes that look nice. Fit perfectly. And don't have branding visible. Was at my favorite lunch place in Munich. Guy is sitting there in an old jacket with dirty boots and a scruffy dog drinking coffee. Chat to him a bit, nice guy. After he leaves the owner of the restaurant tells me he owns the two city blocks surrounding the restaurant. The only reason he didn't own the block we were in was because the church owned it and wasn't selling. I mean, it's extra sauce, you slash red ketchup. How much could it cost, $20? New money people tend to flaunt it. Old money people just live life. They don't want slash need the flashy cars. They don't need to show off. Biggest tell is they have no real set work schedule. There are plenty of old money people who collect slash drive slash race cars as a hobby. They don't spend money on status symbols, but are completely price insensitive with opportunities and education for their children. They teach their children how to play the game from a very young age. The children of wealthy parents are successful less because of direct inheritance and more because they have been groomed for success their entire lives. Spoiled rich kids who just get money from their parents tend to squander it within a generation or two. Intergenerational wealth takes a lot more effort. When they say they are comfortable. My broke cousin tells me all the time how comfortable he is in his sweatpants. A lot of unbranded, but high quality clothing in neutral tones. They don't flex. My wife's family are extremely wealthy and the one thing I'd say across all of them is they never flex wealth. They shop at the same supermarkets, go to the same restaurants, always look out for a bargain and spend money on things that last. Extremely modest. I'd be surprised if anyone ever guessed they were multimillionaires several times over unless you went to their house. They downplay what their dad or grandfather did. You can't casually tell me that someone started a bank in the 80s and me not smell billions. Come on. Stop it. It's not normal. Also common in Germany without being rich. They refer to their summer and winter homes by their names. Being involved in the arts, museums, or other philanthropy. Easier to tell if they are older. You don't notice the cosmetic work they've had done. I.e. if they both look surprisingly good for their age and are at a fit for their age and move easily. Old blue collar workers carry the cost of earning a living in the damage it does to their bodies. Parking wherever they want. 
I've met some wealthy people that legitimately consider parking tickets as a fee to park there. If the penalty for a crime is a fine, then that law only exists for the lower class. They're a poor grad student in the US but casually drop details about their family and life pre-immigration that include maids, chauffeurs, and multiple kids being sent to the US for college at full tuition price. Also I can't wear any jewelry except gold, everyone in my family is allergic to cheap metal and at least $100 worth of saffron in the spice cabinet if they're Middle Eastern. I immediately thought from an oil-rich Middle Eastern country. Clothes are tailored and not with letters like CK and all that overpriced nonsense. Even if they don't seek it out, they often buy clothes at stores where the tailoring is thrown in. They don't talk about money. Almost never. Money screams and yells, wealth faintly whispers. I have a friend who is constantly talking about how much he made that week. It lets everyone know he's not doing that well. We summer at our villa, gerbils, and winter at our chalet, noodles. You know that guy with the 88 Mercedes diesel sedan that looks like the day it was made? That's a pretty good sign. The quality of the cocaine they use. They don't look at the bill before paying it. Always check the bill. Better to say they don't look at prices on the menu before ordering. Even in high-end restaurants we have been given another table's bill. Mistakes happen, always do a quick glance. In some cases yes, but a lot of very wealthy people are very wealthy because of their attention to detail in terms of finances and they will absolutely check every aspect of the bill before paying it. Doesn't talk about money and doesn't show off money. No true wealthy person wears a Versace shirt with the word Versace visible from 20 feet away, for example. Getting extra queso at Chipotle. Having named houses that are publicly acknowledged to be so seems to be a good sign of it. A bespoke wardrobe that costs more than our cars. No logos anywhere on their clothes. No logos, no sizes, if there are makers marks they're probably the size of a pin and only other super wealthy types will know them by sight. They have really nice things, but don't have the brand names plastered all over the place. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.